on that spread of investment, you just offered a new product to your clients, uh, which is investment in cryptocurrencies. Correct. I was quite surprised that you did that because in all the interviews I've done so far about cryptocurrencies, clearly I've been talking to the wrong people. <laughs> they all say uh, this, particularly Bitcoin, I suppose we're talking about here, Ponzi scheme, it's based on nothing, it's targeted on nothing, it's a complete house of cards, one puff of wind and the whole thing will blow down. And in fact, we saw some dramatic falls in the value of Bitcoin only as in the last couple of months. Why are you going into cryptocurrencies? Because I believe personally that there will be a digital currency in the future that will be successful. And I think that in today's world, it's crazy to ignore the opportunity of crypto. Now, do I believe that it should be a very small percentage of your portfolio? Absolutely. But I think just to ignore it and dismiss it is crazy. I mean, we've seen them and people say blockchain's incredible, but I don't trust crypto. OK, well, if blockchain is successful, then you're going to need digital currencies. And in my pocket, maybe yours, you've got dirty, horrible, germy money. Is that going to be around in 10 years time? OK, well, maybe we'll no. look back and go, no, Frank, it can you believe people didn't they believe in Let's crypto? separate the two out because uh, uh, and this is my um, experience so far of reporting on these things. Blockchain is here to stay. It's a brilliant, it's a very clever uh, distributed ledger technology, which Correct. will find hundreds of applications. Whether a digital currency built on blockchain and Bitcoin was the first and the most famous yes. uh, will survive because people's faith in it will survive. I think is still open to question, don't you? I agree. It, it is open to question. OK, but, but can I take that point? Because it's a really good point. You, we're talking about an economy of trust. Yeah. Right. So there's, there's three things for me. One is, is it an alternative currency? Um, well, OK, maybe. All right. And we've always had bartering. We've always had a system of payments. Is it a store of value? OK, well, store of value, property, gold, store of value. Questionable. Economy of trust. In my opinion, not questionable. So, you know, today's world, we look at Amazon, we buy on Amazon, we look at how many stars something's got. Mm. It's an economy of trust. But it's also an economy of distrust. And there's also people around the world that don't trust their own government. OK, we only have to go to America and see that 55% of people don't trust Donald Trump. Mm. Um, there may be other reasons. Uh, there, may be, there may be other reasons. 10% mm. of people in America trust Congress. Only 10%. Mm. And that's the best in the world. So imagine you're in Venezuela, do you trust your government? If you're in Africa, do you trust your government? If you're in China, do you trust your government? Or would you like an alternative? So you're absolutely right, it's about trust. And there are people that trust technology. And they trust it more than they trust their own government. So they're looking for an alternative. And you can say there's nothing behind it, but there's incredible technology behind it. Oh, the technology is there. It's fast. But I mean, aren't I thinking that normally um, currencies are tied to a gold standard, they're tied to a government Correct. bond, yeah, yeah. you know, th there is something there. I know I'm being terribly old fashioned here, but there's something of measurable value yes. supporting the currency. Yes. So let's go to, supporting Bitcoin. Let's go to America. That's the biggest uh, and the strongest currency in the world. So America, you're saying it's a promise from the government. OK, but the American economy is 23 trillion in debt. Yeah. So the money says in God we trust. OK, but we're actually going the dollar's fantastic because we trust the American government to back it. But they also print lots more money. They uh, print money and uh, they borrow from the Chinese. And they borrow from the Chinese. Um, do we need an alternative? In my opinion, we need an alternative. So is it going to be Bitcoin? Is it going to be Ethereum? Is it going to be something else? OK, I think we watch and wait with interest, but to ignore it, OK, that's wrong. To say it's a con, that's wrong. To say that there's going to be something there, I think, and therefore analyse it and keep looking at it, then I th personally think that's sensible. Bitcoin has got a reputational problem as well because it's largely associated with uh, the underworld. Indeed. Drug money. Yes. Black economies. Yes. Do you not think that's a problem? 
It is a problem. Um, and at some point, there's going to be regulation. So if I'm wrong... there will be? Yeah, there has to be. Um, and, and when there's regulation, does all that money go? Um, and where does it go, right? Yeah. Um, so, so, yes, I think there has but the, to be. But that regulation, you think, would presage more consumers coming on board because the confidence would go back. Correct. Um, but then some of the money's going out because the criminal money's going out. So does that mean the price goes down? Maybe. Um, but actually, I think there's going to be a gradual acceptance of some form of digital currency. But in, in that, we mentioned earlier about your, your expertise in a something of a gambler, ch ch choosing a winning horse. Your sense is there's something in this crypto and you're there for, is it there for the long term or are you just in to make a quick buck and then get out when it all collapses? No, my business is long term. So we only make money by looking after clients over a long period of time and those clients referring us. I mean, one of the things that I've done is I've hired one of the top guys in the uh, blockchain industry. Um, got, a, got a team of 10 people that are analyzing how we can use blockchain from a company point of view to help us be more effective, but also looking at the various coins and looking at the technology behind them and, and, and therefore looking at the future to be able to give that information to clients. Do you have a hunch of which one's going to be dominant? <laughs> no. I mean, the Ethereum is getting a lot better press, don't you think, right now? Yeah, Bitcoin? It, it, Ethereum's got better technology and it's more scalable. Uh, so logically, it should be that Ethereum wins, but we go, you know, Betamax and VHS. Sorry, I'm showing my age. Um, everybody said... Well, that, who's, which uh, one's which? Well, you know? yeah. Well, Betamax was thought the better technology, correct. but lost. Is that the... Exactly. You're yeah. making that reference? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. V VHS was the uh, inferior one, but one. Yeah. Um, and that could happen in this area of too? Of course, yeah, I think so. Um, but but, but I, I do agree with it was your point, in fairness, trust is the key. So, and do you think governments are looking... What's, what's your sense of how... How much re the regulators are having a look at the crypto because it seems it's it's marching on isn't it like all things digital it's sure. it's there it's out there yeah correct and um the ability for direct to consumers direct to business people to invest or not without much government oversight is that changing now do you think that territories around the world are having a closer look at this yes they are and uh, it all flows through an exchange so they've only got to regulate an exchange and they've actually got some form of control so you know, if you want to change your money over from, from one crypto to another or you want to cash out, okay, then you've got to go through something that has some form of regulation. Um, but that's going to increase, right, dramatically, all right, dramatically, because regulators are looking. I think the big one, I think that it's not the currencies that's the problem. I think it's the new coins that's the biggest issue. So Tell me about those. Well, you have an initial coin offering. So somebody can go, we want a new coin and therefore they can invent one, uh, they can use some form of the technology that's out there today mm. and raise millions because they believe or they make people believe that that coin is going to be massively successful. This is just, that's just a Ponzi scheme, isn't it? That's it's pyramid selling. It's, it's built on nothing. Yeah, call it, call it what you will, but it's definitely a So why are you going fake. anywhere near it, now? Uh, why are you keeping your clients a million miles away from this stuff? I'm keeping them a million miles away from the fake coins. Right. right. And I think they need advice, right? So, so again, a lot of financial advisors are going, ignore it. I, I don't think you can ignore it. 